Um, it's a high wire act to be a comic in China. What did he say? Yeah, let's go back to where this all began on Saturday in Beijing during his stand-up set. You have a Chinese comic, otherwise known as House. His Chinese name is Li Hao Shi, and he just riffed on this well-known military slogan that's been used by the Chinese President Xi Jinping. He made this joke about watching his two rescue dogs, his two um, adopted stray dogs, chase a squirrel, and it reminded him of the slogan that she used to praise the People's Liberation Army and its work ethic. Now, the joke, it went online, it went viral, and then on Wednesday, Beijing police launched an investigation into Lee, and authorities also fined the company that represents him nearly two million U.S. dollars. Now, um, we heard this from the Beijing Municipal Bureau of Culture and Tourism. They said this. We have the statement for you, quote, we will never allow any company or individual to wantonly slander the glorious image of the People's Liberation Army on a stage in the Chinese capital. Now, the Bureau added that the company would never be allowed to stage any future shows in Beijing. Uh, the company, which had earlier already issued an apology, has fired the comedian. The comedian, pictured on your screen, Li Haosher, he has apologized profusely online. Now, some context here in China. Insults, slander against the military are illegal. In fact, in 2021, that was when China passed a law banning insults against military personnel. And the Chinese public, um, if you look at social media posts, they appear to be divided over this. You know, some people online, they're praising the government's decision, saying that that joke was insulting. But others are fearing a wider crackdown on comedy. And it's very easy to see why. Just on Tuesday, a woman, a Chinese woman in northeastern China, she was detained by police after defending the comedian on social media. Back to you, Bianca.